On the 150th anniversary of Juneteenth, or Emancipation Day, a day that celebrates the end of slavery in the United States, leaders, scholars, and dignitaries in the African American community gathered at a news conference in Los Angeles for a significant announcement. We have announced and will now move forward with bringing to light the names and information for more than four million individuals. That is something to be proud of. The church-sponsored Family Search teamed up with several notable genealogical organizations and museums to release 1.5 million digitized images that contain the estimated four million names from the Freedmen's Bureau. These records are especially touching because you get to get a sense of where they were at the moment when they were freed. These are personal, sometimes difficult accounts to read from a turning point in our nation's history when our forebears were struggling with their own humanity. But what one also sees in these records is triumph and hope and resilience. The news event not only announced an historic release of millions of Civil War era names, it was also a plea to the African American community to help bring those names online and to introduce a new website designed to aid in that goal. We're calling this the Freedmen's Bureau Project for a reason. Although the images of the records are now available on discoverfreedmen.org, they have not been indexed, meaning the key information such as names, dates, places, have not been extracted and put in an index so that the records can be searched. Our goal is to have all of these 1.5 million digital images indexed with that information freely available online in advance of the grand opening in 2016 of the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. What an exciting opportunity we have to bring one of the most important record sets to light. This will change the very fabric of genealogy for African Americans.